Y'all, today is going to be a very special video because I get to build something for a custom world. So the world that we're looking at right now is called Harvest Township and is currently being made by Damien F519 or sometimes he's referred to as Gargamel. And this world is, like I said, currently being made. So you can technically download it, but you know, it's still being worked on. So it's not the final result or anything like that. But basically Gargamel makes a lot of cool worlds for The Sims 3. So one day I've mentioned to him that if he ever needed help with the world or with me building something to let me know because I would be down to do it and he literally took me up on that offer so he's given me my own lot in this world that i have to like build a venue and y'all i have no idea what i want to build so as you can see a lot of the lots in this world are super futuristic they're very modern looking very interesting and i need to build something that's going to fit right in with the theme of the world this world uses a lot of into the future so it uses every single expansion pack and it uses two stuff packs those being 70s 80s and 90s stuff and it also uses the high-end loft stuff and it does use some store content but all of it is like free so i need to like build something that's gonna fit in with that and i'm thinking maybe i could build a restaurant or something because this world does have a diner it has a pub and it does have a cafe but this world doesn't have like a classic restaurant where you can go inside and just sit down and eat and stuff like that and since this world does use a lot of into the future the into the future comes with these food synthesizers that would literally function perfectly for a restaurant so i think maybe we'll do something like that so gargamel went ahead and gave me my own lot to build something on and it's literally called C cj's lot and it says a lot for cj plays to build something for me if he feels like it and i do feel like it gargamel <laughs> so maybe i can start out with something kind of like this i kind of want this part to kind of have an overhang so let me try to get some columns really quick to try to make this come out a little bit more maybe kind of like that could be kind of cool because i kind of want to make something kind of modern so maybe that could be kind of cool and then maybe i can have like another little square piece or something up here Maybe I can have a piece going back that way and then maybe like another little piece here kind of to kind of make it look a little bit interesting. And next up, I kind of want to use some half walls to kind of keep in line with that futuristic theme. So this is what the shell is going to look like. I kind of like it though. Has like a nice bump out here. I need to replace these columns with some more futuristic looking ones. So uh, let's see. I have these. I think these have bubbles going through them. So maybe I can use these on the inside of the build. Um, we also have this one right here. But is there any like other futuristic ones? I don't really know. Does Into the Future come with any columns? I'm not really a fan of these columns. So maybe I'll just use these instead. I mean, I might just use nothing at all, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just use this one instead. Maybe that we could just use that one for right now, but I probably will delete it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let me try to go ahead and put down some flooring so I can kind of map out how I want this to be. So I think I'm going to try to use like a metal flooring maybe. Maybe I could just use this one for right now. It kind of looks futuristic in a way. So maybe I could just have that there for right now just so I can have like the entrance way if that makes sense. Now, since this world does use a lot of into the future, so I'm going to try my best to like use a lot of stuff from that pack. Now, I need to go and see if there are any doors that came with into the future. We have have a couple we have like this sliding door we have a garage door which we probably won't use i mean you could probably use a garage door for like a window but maybe not and then we also have uh this glass door which it's kind of small <laughs> i would love to have a bigger one so i don't know what about archways okay are there any like tall columns that came into the future no and then we just have like some fireplaces and we have some windows. So maybe we'll look at the windows first since I know that we can use some of these. Now, I'm going to probably try to have a couple of these big ones out in the front. Maybe that could be kind of cool. I wonder if I were to make this section all glass windows, how would that look from the inside? Which I kind of like it from the out. So maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. And I kind of want to use like one of these circular windows, but I have no idea where they would go. And I don't really know how to make it look good. Like, does that look okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know uh maybe i won't use those what if i were to have some of these windows wrap around this little corner piece would that look okay hey y'all modern stuff is literally out of my realm so i don't really know how well this looks but okay whatever i really wonder if this actually looks good or not but i don't know i feel like it kind of works in a way i don't know y'all i feel like i might be doing too much but i kind of like it having like a block color scheme so maybe i'll just go with this for right now but i could just change it later on but I kind of like it. It's definitely modern. Okay, definitely that. But all right, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the inside really quick because I got to figure out this floor plan and I got to place some more windows in here. Okay, y'all, so I think I figured out the floor plan. So I have the bathrooms over here. Maybe we can have like an extra room over here for like parties or something. Maybe we could have 
this could probably be like the kitchen area and then i don't really know what this could be maybe this is like a general sitting area maybe and then when we go upstairs we have some rooms so maybe this could be like an extra bathroom i would kind of like to put some arcade cabinets up here but i don't really know if i want to do that or not so maybe this could be like an extra bathroom Maybe this could be like some extra seating space or something. So maybe I should put down some tables that came with Into the Future. I might use both of them. There's also a modern table that came with, I think it's like Showtime, I wanna say. So Showtime did come with a couple of modern looking tables. So I could use some of these as well. Honestly though, I think I might use these. These look more the vibe that I wanna kinda go for. I kinda wanna go for something kinda modern, but kinda classy. So maybe I'll just go with these two for right now. What do I wanna do? Maybe I could put like a couple of these big ones over here in this room and what about the chairs that came with that pack we have these which kind of fits the vibe a little bit we also have like these but i don't really want to use this one uh we also have this one and that one maybe i'll go for the into the future ones oh we also have this one from into the future too uh maybe i can use the one without the arms maybe, yeah maybe i'll just use these instead I wonder if I can have a couple of these plants hanging up. Maybe that would be kind of cool. I don't really know. Hopefully. <laughs> I might take these away, but I'm just trying to see how it would look. You know, maybe I can bring the walls up for a second too, to maybe put some art or something on the wall, just so it doesn't look so basic in here. It does look a little plain. I wonder if I could maybe use some of the siding from the outside of it. Maybe I can put it on one of these walls to make like an accent wall. Maybe something like this could be kind of cool in here. I think this is okay. I think I'll do something like this just to add a little color in here because it is looking a little plain. And then I kind of want to get the bathroom doors over here too. What if I use those sliding doors that came with Into the Future for the bathrooms? That way it'll look kind of futuristic. Yeah, these right here. Maybe I can use a couple of these and then let me try to see what kind of bathroom stuff they have with that pack. Let's see, so we do have the all-in-one bathrooms, which honestly, y'all, I might end up using those. I kind of wanted to use like the regular one, but the all-in-one bathrooms might actually make a lot more sense, I think. And then I, maybe I can have like four of them. And then maybe I can have a sink or something in the middle of it. I feel like that's doing a little bit too much, y'all. Maybe I'll just have one of them in here. Maybe that might make a little bit more sense if I do something like that. I do like these chairs that are here, but maybe I can replace them with these instead so it can kind of look more cohesive. I don't know. Maybe that might make more sense, but I kind of like these. Hmm. Maybe I'll swap them out. So I think I'm going to have this room right here be the kitchen space. So I'm going to use these food synthesizers. So if you don't know, if you have these objects on your community lot, you'll have waiters that'll spawn and they'll serve your Sims like it was a restaurant. So this is what I'm going to use to kind of make this be like a restaurant, if that makes sense. So I think maybe I'll have two of them here. And maybe what I can do is put some countertops maybe on this wall. So maybe I can use... I don't know. I might use these or I might just use the ones from Into the Future again. Maybe I can have a couple of these lights hanging up over the sink area. Maybe I can get like a trash can to go like there. Maybe like one over here on this side too. So you can have like two means of disposal. There's also this drink synthesizer, which I don't know if these are going to be useful or not, but maybe I can put like one of these in the corner and then maybe I can use some of these over here. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for this little kitchen space. Gargamel, if you're watching this, please let me know. Are two fridges going to be enough or do I need to put like another one? Cause like I could put like one right here just to have like three. I don't know like how many waiters can actually like function on one lot without it breaking so i don't really know but maybe i'll just put two up here for now but if i need another one let me know gargamel and i can place it down next i want to go ahead and move on to this room i think i'm gonna have this one be like a little lounge area maybe you could just have some sims come and just chill over here hang out i mean i could use these big couches but are there like any other ones we have a park bench we have these bar stools and then we also have these sectionals which maybe i'll use some of these sectionals here to kind of make like a little hangout spot. Maybe I can move this one up against the wall. Maybe I can move this like a couple tiles back. So I'm not a really big fan of how these sectionals look from the outside of the lot, but honestly, I don't know what I could do. <laughs> I mean, I could get rid of this one and just have one be on this side of the wall, which I guess I could technically do that and see how it would look. I mean, I guess that could work, but I do like the idea of having like two of them here because it's like more of a loungy area. And I want to know if there are any like other objects that I could put. I mean, we do have these end tables here. I could put those in here. There's also like a hot tub, which I'm not going to use. We're not, we're not putting a hot tub on this lot. Is there maybe like a music player? There is a music player like this I could use in here to kind of like give the build some ambience maybe i feel like it's probably going to be annoying because sims are going to probably want to turn this on a lot i just kind of want this to be like a little hangout spot maybe just you know 
you could just chill, hang out. Maybe a rug could look kind of nice, but that's probably it because I don't want to clutter this room up too much. Okay, so I think I'll make this room upstairs into a bathroom also, but maybe I'll just make this one into like one big bathroom. And I think what I'll do for this room right here, we'll have this one be like another little private eating area. And I'll just use a couple of the same tables over here too. I don't really want to put like a lot of tables because I feel like Sims are going to get kind of confused. Maybe I could just put six at this one and then maybe just four at this one. I don't know, just to kind of put something in this room. I wonder if I could just use a couple of these art pieces in here to kind of give us something to look at. I think that could be kind of cool. Oh, I kind of want to use this somewhere, but where would I use this? On the outside of the lot? I don't even know if that, that could be kind of, I don't know, maybe we'll keep that there for right now, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, then we have like this hallway section right here, which I need to get some lights for the upstairs part. Let's put some lights up here. Maybe I could put, a couple of arcade cabinets over here just to kind of give Sim something to do. And Into the Future did come with a couple of those objects. So I was looking around some of the objects that came with Into the Future and I kind of forgot that we have like these hologram paintings. So maybe I could put one of those up in here. We do have like these signs right here too. Uh, Let's see, where's like the hollow paintings? Oh, we also have like these light sculptures which could be kind of cool. I don't really know where I could put those though. Ooh, this sign is really cool. Y'all, I wanna put this somewhere, but where? There's so many cool items that came with this pack. Where could I put this sign and make it make sense? Maybe I could put the arcade cabinets right here up against these lights. They kind of like, you know, illuminate them a little bit. And then maybe I can put like one of these arcade games like in the corner maybe for Sims to play with. I feel like Sims are gonna get super distracted on this lot because there's a bunch of stuff but I feel like it's it'll be worth it <laughs> just to have like some fun stuff for your Sims to do. I think I'm gonna change the color of the light to kind of make it a little bit brighter so it won't stand out as much. Maybe I can put these in a couple of different colors so they don't all look the same. So we can have like a little bit of variation up here maybe. Oh, what about this foosball table? Kind of like that. Yeah, we'll use that foosball table like right there. All right, y'all, so we have a lot of activities on this one lot, but I feel like, you know, you could have your Sims come here, you know, to go on a date. Maybe they can come here to like, you know, play games and stuff like that. But I think this is pretty cool. And is there any like, posters that i could maybe put up like there's this sim city poster maybe your sims can pretend they're playing sim city on that maybe i don't know or honestly i think it probably would be a lot better if i were to put oh that could be kind of cool too do these move i don't know i think they move though maybe it would be kind of better if i could use like one of these instead or maybe i could just use like one of these hollow ones right here that could probably be kind of cool maybe i can have like two and then you can have like your own backgrounds probably so now i'm gonna go ahead and try to landscape this lot because uh it really needs some landscaping i think i'm gonna get rid of these columns i don't think that we need them so i'm gonna try to look around really quick just to kind of see like what some of the other plants in this world look like so we have like some of these orange trees we have some of these trees right here we have some shrubs so I'm gonna try to make this blend in as best I can. So maybe I could try to find some matching stuff. So we have a couple of these trees that I could use. So maybe I'll put this one out. We also have some trees like this, which y'all know these are like my go-to trees anyway. Maybe I could put some of these out here. Maybe I'll use a couple of these trees to kind of go beside the lot. Maybe I'll just use a couple of these to kind of go like around the lot a little bit. So I decided to add like a little parking space out here just to kind of make this look a little bit more realistic, I think. Oh, wait, can I not like circle around that? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Maybe I can make it like a white or something. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit cleaner too. So maybe we'll keep that. <laughs> I don't know. If I need to remove it, Gargamel, let me know because I will. Maybe, how would it look if it was white? White might look a little bit better. Yeah, I think white looks a little bit better on it. I really wanted to use this sign really bad, but I don't know where to put it and I don't know how to make it look good. And I really can't like move it once it's placed down, which is kind of annoying. So maybe I won't use the sign because the only other signs that come with Into the Future are kind of big. And I feel like they're a little bit, you know, just a little bit too much for me or they're not really the vibe. Like this is a subway and like this is a hospital. So none of them are really the vibe that I'm trying to go for. So maybe I just won't have one. But I think on that note though, I think I'm pretty much done with this build. I really like how it turned out. Hopefully the Sims won't get too distracted on this lot. If there's anything that I need to like change or edit, let me know gargamel and i'll try to change it but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below again keep in mind that gargamel's world harvest township is still currently being worked on so by the time you go to download it it might be a little bit different but the first beta is available for download if you want to check it out but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching